All eyes on Biden. The question, will he run for president? Good evening. I'm Paul Butler. And I'm Steve Hammond. Welcome to WBOC News at 6. MSNBC is reporting that Biden could tell us his decision by tomorrow. Now, we've heard speculation about Biden for months, especially on the 24-hour news channels. The first filing deadline for appearing on a primary ballot is November 6th. Let's check in now with our Sussex County Bureau Chief, Evan Kozloff, who joins us live from Georgetown. Evan, you've been speaking with a lot of Delawareans who are still waiting for Biden's decision. Good evening, guys. And if you're a political junkie, then this is just a very exciting time for people across the country to speculate about whether Biden is going to run. But it has some special impacts right here on Delmarva and in the first state because there's just so many local ties. Now with the decision possibly days away, all eyes are on Biden. At the Georgetown Family Restaurant, talk of politics is pretty regular. And Tuesday afternoon is no different as Dewey homeowner and resident of North Wilmington, Betty McElroy, sits down for breakfast. At 82 years old, she's been a Republican her whole life, but she says she would make the switch for Biden. Died in the wool Republican, but I would vote for Joseph Biden if he ran for president. What makes you want to break that party line? Because I feel he's the homeboy, uh, would do a great job for the government and, the, and for the country. Meanwhile, in Washington, Biden spoke at a forum on Tuesday morning, honoring former Vice President Walter Mondale and cast himself as President Obama's right-hand man on global issues. Look, I spend between, depending on the season, four to seven hours a day every single day with the president. I attend every meeting the president has at his request. I did not ask to do that. Back on Delmarva, Bruce Smith sits down for lunch with friends at Modern Mixture 2 in Milton. Smith, a Republican, says he knew Biden when he was running for county council upstate. He says the death of Biden's son, Beau, will certainly be a factor. Should do it if he can get over, you know, his emotional uh, state with his son, Beau, passing and all that, if he can handle the the pressure, then he should run to give Hillary a challenge for the, the Democratic nudge. Meanwhile, in downtown Lewis, twins Sharon Coart and Karen Brisky are talking politics as well. Coart says one thing is clear. She wants a decision. I think if Vice President Biden is going to run, he needs to let us know within the next 24 hours because I'm tired of hearing, is he or isn't he? Something she, her sister, and the rest of the world will be watching closely this week. All right, now you just heard some opinions from folks here in Delaware, but what about in the rest of the country? Now, the latest poll, this is a CNN poll, has found that among Democrats, Clinton is still on top with 48 percent. Bernie Sanders is in second with 21 percent, and Biden still unannounced, mind you, sits at 17 percent. Here's where it gets interesting, though, of, uh, excuse me, more than 40 percent of both Clinton and Sanders supporters say that they would be at least somewhat likely to back a Biden run. For now in Sussex County, I'm Evan Kozloff, WBOC News in Georgetown.